<laughs> hey, what's up? Welcome to Space Couch. Uh, I missed you. I won't even ask if you if you if you missed me because I mean it's a little bit presumptuous. I'm just gonna do a little space configuration here uh, on the couch. But how are you? Great to. Um, sort of see you. We don't really have two-way communication yet here in space uh, for everybody, but uh, we will get to that shortly. Uh, from uh, the couch of space here, I would like to talk to you about uh, our wonderful uh, quote-unquote sponsor, Tiger Squawk Records. Check this out. Uh, right now we have Sex, Death, Religion. It's free right now. It's amazing. Uh, we also have from Soundwitch uh, the uh, drone album. It's called Zero. Uh, Esserly did a chiptune album. That's free too. And the amazing Beta Virus also has a free album out. You can get that all tigersquawkrecords.bandcamp.com. That's four free albums from Tiger Squawk Records. Uh, exciting stuff. Uh, I mean, I think. But. Um, Equally as exciting are today's guests. It's uh, amazing. We had uh, a luck of the draw. Uh, the space luck has favored us today for uh, this amazing double feature. Um, I'm, I am pretty super happy. What is up, uh, Gifrerzella? And uh, oh, Beta Virus is uh, joining us today. What's up, Scott? And uh, oh, science fiction in the place. Okay, this is going to be great. Double feature, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please welcome Sweat Boys and Paralyze. What is going on, uh, you guys? Thank you so much for joining us uh, up here in space. Uh, I, I, I know you guys, uh, uh, you know had to erect a, a like a like a receiver dish on the top of your place to get this signal all the way from the the vastness of the cosmos but I do appreciate it uh, what is up how's it going uh, so be uh, it's it's good it's great awesome um, it's really it's bright in space you just got <laughs> past the sun um, okay yeah and yeah. we had a huge breakfast this morning okay. Very large. It was substantial breakfast. Very large. Fantastic. Well, you know, you mm -hmm. uh, you just played uh, a show last night, Mr. Paralyzed, so, uh, you know, you, you got to replace those calories. Good True. stuff. Uh, we have Nevada Hardware and David of Subspace in the place. What's up, guys? Um, Hi, David. Hi. And bring oh, David, buddy, baby. How are you doing? <laughs> the... Um, nice. Let's get right into it because we have. Uh, I'm so excited to talk to both of you. Um, Paralyze has just released uh, or recently released Disassociative Prosthetic, and uh, Sweat Boys have uh, leveled the Sonic Cannon with Nervous Prayers. Um, let's take a listen to uh, some some of both of those. I'm gonna cut to the uh, the music portion of this for just a minute right here. If or I would if I haven't. Space problems. Woo! Oh wait, there we go. I don't love you. So this will just go for a second. No, I don't love you. No, I don't love you. So that was amazing. You can get both of those albums uh, out on the internet. Uh, 
where you would normally get them. You are at uh, paralyzedevm.bandcamp.com. And is it uh, for you, Ben, is it givetake.bandcamp.com for Nervous give, Prayers? Give, give take uh, Bandcamp, yeah, for uh, for Nervous Prayers. And then uh, our uh, our other stuff is on uh, the sweatboys.bandcamp. So good. That, uh, that, that remix album is out out of the park uh what you did with the uh the android lust vocals oh love it oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um so since we are listening or or doing a, a a double feature um i will ask some questions of both of you that you could maybe relate to each of your respective albums um so for both uh, dissociative, dissociative prosthetic. It's and, hard to say. Yeah, it's, well, it's even harder to spell. Dude. Uh, <laughs> I, I definitely misspelled it like three times right. printing the J cards for that. And then your phone learns it the wrong way. So like now it's <laughs> not the uh, uh, for that, that we'll just call it album X and uh, uh, nervous prayers. Um, what would you was there sort of like a like a direction or um emotional fuel or or a gestalt of the album that uh you either went into it with or came about while creating it or any sort of uh, overall uh spirit if you like of yeah. um well like i uh i came to industrial stuff after being tired of uh, hardcore punk music, mm. basically, um, and so you know, I I had fronted a hardcore punk band for like five years, and and kind of toured with that. Um, so I really wanted to write about things that weren't real things about my personal life, um, and I really like uh, cyberpunk literature and media. Um, so I kind of just wanted to sort of uh, take a sort of current look at uh, the world and technology through the like retro futuristic lens of cyberpunk. Wow. Um, so like I don't really have another way to write music that's not really heavily influenced by like um, very uh, high intensity hardcore punk and like power violence things. Okay. Um, so that's just uh, all, all of that mishmash put together is that's where it all came from. That's awesome. Like, cause there's there's a definite um, like a, a punk sort of like powerhouse kind of fueling the whole thing. At least that's what I get when I listen to it. And uh, to hear that actually be the case is pretty awesome. That also right when you started talking, some sort of weird hollow noise kicked in. So like you're bringing the the rise of the machines with the uh, the sound of your cyber voice. So that's uh, the train. Oh, okay. We're, 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 about a, we're about 80 feet from a, a train track. Okay. Awesome. I love it. I mean, what's more industrial than that? Like, uh, all, you know, large... Bigger train. Big, <laughs> <laughs> Touche. A larger, larger train. A bigger, okay. larger train. Well... What about me? What about... Um, um, yeah. My, my story is, uh, is, uh, is, is both more and less interesting at the same time uh, than I'm that fascinated. one. Uh, I just, I, I had a very significant, uh, uh, like, emotional breakdown. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, the, 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 the result was me kind of uh, really beginning the process of unfucking myself. Right. As, as a person. Um, but uh, as far as the songs on the record, um, I don't, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't really remember mm. the, the the process of any of it. Um, I just know that, I, like, I sat down and 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 those those songs are the songs that that, that came out. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, because I mean, they're they're you 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 get into some pretty dark topics with like kind of a fun melody behind it, if if that makes any sense. But uh, I I I dig that sort of juxtaposition. Um, and so, is it difficult to return to songs that you don't like remember writing? If you play like live or something like that? Um, no, not really. I mean, okay. like I'm 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 kind of a um, 
I'm sort of emotionally separated Interesting. Uh, a, a, a bit from it, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so it's not uh, I, like it's not it, the, 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 the weird part is that it like it, it, it came from such a, 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 a weird, uncomfortable, just emotionally uh, painful stretch of my life mm -hmm. that. Like it's it, it like I mean you know like every every time we 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 do any of those songs like I I, I there's a split second of like remembering yeah. where I was you know like a couple of years ago uh, just in my head um, but that that I I just put that in the box that it lives in hmm. and and push push through I guess <laughs> well uh, I have heard nothing but amazing things about your live shows so uh you uh you must be it yeah <laughs> <laughs> um we'll cover that in a second but just on um in album world uh if you had to take like a track off the album and turn it into like a teenage mutant ninja turtles bad guy uh what would that be and what might the inevitable toy uh, from from that look like. All right, here's how we how we decide. Uh, one, two, three. All right, I, I guess I guess I'm going first. All right. Um, <laughs> or wait, do I go first because I lost? I mean, I I thought that I'm excited. Okay, right you, now. You, yeah, okay, great. Um, I mean, I mean, space couch. <laughs> space couch. <laughs> space couch. <laughs> so uh, I would definitely pick track two, the disassociative prosthetic track, uh, because it is about um, elective. It's about elective prosthetic surgery. Okay. So that one is. So the the teenage mutant ninja turtles villain, uh, he's a doctor, right? <laughs> right. Got to be a doctor. He's crazy. Sure. He's got orange hair and like one eye that's really big. Okay. Uh, and another eyeball that uh folds out into being like the doctor mirror on his head but oh it's i love hot. it it's like twitching around in there as he's going nuts he's one regular hand <laughs> another edward scissor hand style hand there are, all of his fingers are scalpels oh, so dude. That instrumentation uh the the you know the, the horrible things that he's going to do when he tries putting robot parts on all of the mutants that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have to fight. Um, and yeah, and the toy has um, all his fingers flex on his, his scalpel hand, but his other hand is just the fucking... It's just... Right, the, <laughs> you know? just, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, parents get upset. <laughs> They're not happy with the subject matter. Um, Parents but get upset. Eastman and Liar just decided that that was the villain that they needed. So, oh, uh, he's here. nice. nice. Uh, <laughs> damn. I want to show about that guy. Uh, uh, ben, what do you got? Uh, villain, man, I don't know. It, 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 it's, more, it's more April O'Neil in a bubble bath, okay. I think. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. We'll go with April O'Neil in a bubble bath. Then, then, a, then a villain. Okay. Well, uh, we were talking a little bit on the break about um, a potential Sweat Girls uh, cover band. Uh, maybe. And like a rival, like a rival oh, band. Oh, like a rival. Okay, awesome. Yeah, like like uh, like Jim and the Misfits. Yeah, yeah, like Jim, Jim and the Misfits. Okay, yeah, they, great, they, great. Do you get into like... Kind of yeah, I love shit. it. Uh, but, but, they're, but they're better than us. You know? <laughs> The songs are better. Let, let's be real, real about it. The, the Misfits slayed the hologram. It's it's not even close in my mind. Like, <laughs> like the songs really were better, as the, as their the their part of the theme indicates. Uh, right, everything was better. Scott Fox of Ivarden Sphere wants to know what's on your shirt. Who? who which shirt? Uh, he has not indicated. <laughs> uh, this is uh this is Homewrecker. This is from their Circle of Death album. Uh, if you like uh, really crusty black hardcore, then check it out because that album is tight. Also, the album right before it, Worms and Dirt, is also tight. Maybe better. Look oh. at that one, too. All right. What's on your shirt? Uh, my shirt is the, the Damned. Getting punk rock as hell up in here. All right. Phantasmagoria, which is my favorite album cover, but probably their worst. No, second worst album. 
Okay. Second worst album by the Damned. <laughs> but it's a, but it's a it's a great cover. Well, you know, it can't all be bad. Oh, we can be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, touche. Glad we, uh, glad we got you there. <laughs> the, back to uh, uh, album stuff. Um, is there, like, I'm. Um, just as an example, I'm I'm kind of rounding third base on getting uh, this side project I have, um, ga- thank you, uh, gasoline invertebrate uh, out the out the door, and some of the tracks are like changing uh, a a fair amount from where I started, like you know technically or emotionally or anything like that, but uh, some are intact. Um, was that your experience in writing each of these albums? And is there a track that was particularly close to uh, its final <laughs> form in the way it was initially conceived? Um, I'll, I'll answer this first. I'll do that. Hmm. You have to answer the next one first. That's the, that's the trade-off. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, anyway. <laughs> um, Whatever you need, buddy. The, uh, I'm, here, I'm here for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely the last one on on my record, uh, the "Was I Ever Alive" song. Uh, it was like the last song that I wrote for it, and so like after I'd gotten all of the the sort of the sound design and the kind of structures that I wanted to have all the songs, like um, you know after that was down and you write the last piece. I think you it's easy to get like a much clearer vision of exactly what you're trying to do and um, what you're trying to write. What it's easiest to get the what you're trying to do once you finished it? No, like um like uh, the album is kind of done changing. Oh, okay. You know. And so whenever you write the very last song, right. um, you already know where you are and there's not a whole lot that um, you need to change about it after it's finished. Interesting. Okay. Uh, m- uh, Mr. Boys, uh, <laughs> what, what, uh, is there anything that was particularly uh, close to how you, how you started with it on Nervous Prayers? Um, musically, everything kind of... Uh, th- yeah, there weren't, there weren't a whole lot of changes really mm-hmm. um except I, I guess the uh um well one one thing that that <clears throat> excuse me the, the one that that did not change uh, at all um was uh uh endlessly um from from the record so um dylan one of the guys that uh sweats with us he's <laughs> uh he, he's <laughs> one of the og sweat boys um, and we've been friends for a really long time and, um, we, uh, we used to just bang out on, uh, on like four track tape, um, on his like living room table. Nice. And oh, so that's, um, he and I wrote it, uh, in an afternoon, probably like 17, 18 years ago. Get out. Really? Yeah. Um, and, um, I had, uh, I had lost the tape, um, and then a couple of years ago, found it and like ripped it, and I was like, "Well, okay, like this, this one's got legs." <clears throat> nice. And, yeah, and so just kind of um, uh, re retract some things, um, like keeping some original um, samples like from the tape, uh, just because they, they they sounded really really nice to me. Um, but like that thing, like yeah, we we. We we jammed out on on some stuff and then it took about fifteen minutes, like just passing words back and forth on a sheet of paper, and then and then had it. Awesome. Um, and so that one that one is is the same as it was when we when we wrote the thing forever ago. Well, yeah. What a great uh, origin story for a track named "Endlessly" to be sort of <laughs> right. unearthed from uh, a, a tape from eighteen years ago, man. I, yep. I wish anything I did 18 years ago sounded that good. Uh, yeah. so, um, good. The uh, I, I guess the only the, the only other interesting thing would be um, the 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 last track on the EP. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I had I had actually I sent it to Seabold. Oh, nice. Um, as, as an instrumental, and been like, hey, would you want to sing on this? 
Um, Cause uh, like I, I I've always wanted to hear that guy just do a fucking pop record, right? Um, and uh, and uh, yada yada yada. I ended up keeping it for myself. Yeah. Um, and yeah. So well, d- might we hear uh, a a, a Siebel serenade on a, a Sweat Boys record someday? I mean, I could definitely write some songs about how pretty he is. Yeah, he's a beautiful man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, the so uh, we touched on this a bit earlier, but um, uh, Sweat Boy is obviously no stranger to playing live with with an amazing show. And uh, Paralyzed, you just played uh, 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 Warehouse last night, and you will be heading to. Uh, Minneapolis, I think as soon as we're done here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's get on the road. Right, for the... Get the, out of my house! <laughs> the Kitty Cat Club, if you are uh, in the Minneapolis area, please see Paralyze. He's amazing. Um, the oh, yeah. That is a lead-in to how are you finding uh, the live experience for both of you guys. Oh, I have to go first now. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, it's really, it's fun. It's fun. Um, uh, like I'm a wreck until I actually yeah. uh, get on stage and then, and then, and then I'm okay. It's just that, that anxiety about, uh, about getting up there. Mm. Um, I have a, I have a really good time. Um, all the, all the, the dudes have a really good time. Um, we've, uh, we've got, a we've got a st- quite a few, it's, it's like a, it's a, it's a rotating cast of characters. Okay. Um, and, uh, I think we've got, like 10 or 11 people who just like rotate in and out. And, you know, it's, it's kind of all about like who can show up. Mm. Um, but, uh, um, no, yeah, everybody has a really good time and, um, and yeah, it's just, it's just super fun. And, and we've, I mean, we, we've been able to do some stuff that I, I never thought we'd be able to do. What do you mean? Um, like, well, we, uh, we've, We've been able to play with um, bands that we just have no business sharing a <laughs> stage the with. It's the best at all. Um, these like uh, just wickedly talented bands, um, and uh, and and you know we I, we just get up there and, and kind of grind, <laughs> and and then uh, and then they they get up and and show off their you know decades of, of <laughs> rehearsals, um, but. Uh, we we've uh we've, we've been offered some some really really neat chances to to play on like on bigger just mm. bigger stages uh, with um the opportunity to kind of you know build some more set pieces and do that kind of stuff and like we did, we did this thing a couple weeks ago um at a local uh a local theater um and it's it's like a new nice awesome theater it's like a 400 cap room i think um, and, uh, <clears throat> we played there as part of a benefit, uh, for, for a local nonprofit. Um, and we opened and then the second act was like a folk, <laughs> like acoustic, acoustic string, like folk band. Yeah. And then the headliner did, does kind of like sort of rootsy, like Americana, like rock and roll type stuff. Okay. Um, but, uh, we had this monster stage to work with and, um, we, uh, we, 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 we built a, a, a a sex jail um <laughs> so, so fun. on the stage it was like it was, so cool. it was like four four by four by eight. Oh, uh, nice big, like, rope light like sex jail and then uh had, had it on the stage and like dude there were grandmas there oh, awesome and like like a couple couple kind of young kids and like kick uh, ass yeah but uh but it just it shit like that stuff okay. stuff that that i Right. Well, yeah, never thought I'd be able to do it. Sweat Girls will be the rival band, and then um, <laughs> Sex Jail will be the cover band. Sex Jail. Uh, that's so good. Yeah. The, Live, uh, from Live from the Sex Jail. <laughs> this call is coming from Sex Jail. Like the. Um, I sin- I do sin- accept the charges. <laughs> <laughs> that's the album. Uh, Am I being detained? Right. Can I be? Can I be? Um, the, uh, so, um, how are you finding, uh, Mr. Paralyzed, the, uh, uh, warehouse last night, 
Kitty Cat Club tomorrow night. Uh, what is playing live like for you these days? Um, well, I mean, like, I kind of uh, focus on live stuff a lot more than studio stuff. Mm, really? Um, and, like, uh, every, uh, every step of the way has been, um, you know, focusing on playing uh, the music that I write live um, as opposed to just putting out the record. Interesting. Um, I mean, I, we, I we think we played, like, two, three, or four uh, shows before we recorded anything. Really? Okay. Yeah, um, I did yeah. the same thing. Does that figure into your songwriting? Like, if you're sitting at Cubase or whatever, and you throw in, like, another ARP, you go, fuck, I'm going to have to play this live if I do this. Well, I don't, I don't use a DAW at all. What? Yeah, I'm all hardware, 100%. Wow! I just use, I use a DAW recorder. Kick ass, man. Yeah. The, the few, the proud. Yeah. So that's that's one of the you know like live focus things is that I um you know everything is very immediate and there's like no mystery about what I'm doing on stage. Mm. The box that's lighting up is the box that's making the sounds, and nice. you know, people can see everything that I'm doing. Um, you know, they get to see how the hot dog is made <laughs> while I'm playing. And it is a damn fine wiener, folks. And nice, nice. It's well, a damn fine wiener. It's just meaty. Uh, mm -hmm. they just, just got they, that natural casing. Just said, yeah, okay. that snap. Yeah. Um, the you can't ever talk about your own hot dog. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hell, it's just you on stage. For I mean, not just you, but like in terms of people, it's uh, are you solo on stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, in the uh, the first few shows, I had a friend mm -hmm. that um, I wrote a little bit with and performed with, um, and then he moved to Salt Lake City. Uh, wow. And then it was just me. All right. And well, now he's back in Milwaukee, but it's still just me. <laughs> so. it just it's an interesting counterpoint to Sweat Boy. It was just a ton of dudes, oh, yes. but uh, you know what are you gonna do? Uh, speaking of Milwaukee, uh, I I have a little bit of uh, fondness um, for this next question, just because I uh, grew up in Milwaukee uh, and live in Boston now when I'm not. Uh, in space, but uh, definitely spent a great amount of time in, in uh, not only Madison, Wisconsin, uh, which is where um, obviously Matt Finale lives, which is uh, where I first heard about Sweat Boys, but uh, now I live in, uh, or used to live in Milwaukee, uh, uh, which is you now where you reside, uh, Mr. Paralyzed. Uh, with, like, the emergence Mr. of Paralyze. Mr. Yes. Paralyze, yes. Well, I've I've turned into a Bond villain, I guess. The you've both played like the Sanctuary Festivals in mm -hmm. uh, in um, Club Anything or the local or whatever we're calling it uh, these days. Uh, and uh, there's Madison's new club, uh, the Crucible, and um, the uh, obviously the two of you. Uh, let alone, is there anything like uh, a Wisconsin industrial renaissance, or is that too uh, highfalutin, you think? I think if it hasn't happened yet, it's coming. <laughs> you know, the seeds have been planted. Mm. Um, like, I don't know. It's cool that I feel like a lot more industrial shows are coming through the state. That's cool. Uh, as I, compared to, I mean, maybe I'm just better at finding them now. Mm. Um, but, but I think that there's with, with Sanctuary and, um, uh, with, with a bunch of the other stuff going on, like more bands, um, of the genre are coming through. I don't know if that translates to more bands starting mm -hmm. and like more younger people getting into it. Um, but, uh, you know, we're having more shows, and that's the first step. Nice. To, you know, you have more shows. You have more people there. And the people are like, oh, shit, I could do this, too. Why don't we just do it? And then you get more bands. I love um, it. You know, last night I uh, played with um, a guy named Mark who does a thing called Choke Chain. Okay. Um, and the demos he had online uh, were were definitely not as good as the stuff he played live because he just knocked my socks off. Mm. Uh, and it's so cool seeing, like, um, you know, young 20-somethings playing hard EBM 
in the middle of Wisconsin. Love it. Maybe the side mm-hmm. of Wisconsin. It was it was really cool to see. Uh, it's uh, it gave me a bit more hope. There you go. That, uh, you know, Zaya. Awesome. Do you, man. do you think there's there's a, a renaissance of a renaissance? Uh, there's a. I was looking for a sauce pun. <laughs> it didn't, it didn't have, I'm sorry, folks. I let you down. Um, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like there, um, there's a, there, there's there. I, I, I think a, a, a big part of why it feels like it's, 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 it's something's happening is because I, I, just, I feel like there's, there's more crossover now with mm. uh, like all, you know, P, um, you know, you've got like, you know, kind of just, just more, you know, poppy shit, like, like what we're doing, um, on stage with, uh, you know, like shit like, uh, Hal's doing and, uh, um, like, and, and kind of more like mixed genre bills happening and like, um, so that's pretty awesome. Like, uh, I, what, what am I, I'm, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. I mean, here. I think that also like, Does that make sense? The, yeah, okay. the industrial sound in general is just becoming kind of more widely acceptable and uh, easily accessible with people like people really like sophie right now <laughs> and sophie is is industrial as hell yeah um, it's a good call and that's sorry go ahead. i said that's a good call yeah and you know stuff like that or like uh i know like kanye west is a he's he's got a lot of troubles <laughs> um but like the like the black skin head thing like i feel like turned a lot of people onto these kinds of sounds. So uh, maybe Wisconsin is just kind of a, a microcosm of just something that's kind of happening in music. Interesting. Uh, okay. Across the country, just in general. Dope, dope, dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Well, I'll, uh, I don't know if, well, no, Sanct- Sanctuary Festival just happened. We'll have to see what goes on uh, for, uh, for it going forward. But I'm happy to see that uh, there's a, there's a reoccurring festival in, uh, in Milwaukee, um, yeah, it was really fun. It was, it was the third one. Yeah, like that. Uh, was I'm the third one. I don't know. Sure. I'm not sure. Nah, Did I just I, say the number wrong? No, you got it right. It was the third. It's the third. Yeah, because I played the first two, and then. And, and, oh, for sure. I just want to throw this out real quick. Like the the the, the thing that that stuck with me about about Sanctuary, like the the, the overall experience, is like. Um, you, you any any time you get that many people, uh, like that many that many artists or bands together, like generally speaking, there's at least one asshole. In the bunch. <laughs> okay, it, I mean, despite it, it just you know like somebody somebody's a douche. Sure. Um, for some reason, um, and not a douche I could find. Nice. Like, <laughs> which means it's me. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, like, no, like I, that was the thing. The thing about that stuck with me is like, everybody was so friendly, and and genuine and helpful. Awesome. And, like it was, it was, like just it was really, just like it felt like a family affair and just, just really fucking nice, man. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Good to hear. Well, uh, check out Sanctuary Festival if you are in the Midwest. Uh, also, if you are in the Midwest. Uh, Northern Region, check out um, the uh, the wonderful Paralyzed tonight at the is it Kitty Cat Club or Kit Clat Kit Cat Kit Clat? <laughs> I can't get it. I can't get it right. Uh, the Kitty Clat Club. Kitty Kitty that Clack Club. Clankety Clank <laughs> at uh, yes at the, the the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Club. Check that out. The Yakety Yak. The yeah. Yeah. Um, don't you don't you don't dare talk <laughs> just not not even a little bit um <laughs> the uh remix disc uh you put out ben is is uh over the top like i absolutely love it um oh, the and uh i'm curious as to how you conceptually or technically you approach doing a remix because some of those were a complete 180 not a complete 180, but let's say 172 and a half degrees away from the the, the source material. Yeah. Um, the uh, I, I I read something um, a long time ago. 
I and I, I can't even remember who 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 was talking uh, or writing, but uh, they 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 mentioned that um, they they tend to avoid a re- the original mix of a song if they're going to do uh, a remix version of it. Like they just met, mentioned like yeah, it works better if I've never heard it. Oh, okay. Because because then the box is removed. Like mm. they you know they and they can just do whatever the hell they want. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so. I, and and actually that um uh that caustic uh android lust mix that was that was the first remix i ever attempted really yeah um and uh i i found uh um i found the 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 pack like online somewhere um and uh i had uh i i, I was like okay well i've never heard this song let's let's give it a go um and i just took the vocals uh and 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 just kind of built up a new uh like a, a, a sweat boys uh track and then and then put put her vocals on it basically um and it kind of worked so that's that's kind of been my mo um is uh i i i try to um like i particularly if you ask me for a mix i'll i just assume like you want a sweat sweat boys mix mm. So the Sweat Boys mix more often than not <laughs> is gonna be like your vocals uh, on some uh, totally different bullshit um, than what you what you sent me. I um, love it. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Is that an arena you might want to uh, check out, Hal? The whole remix thing. I mean, uh, the the thing with how I work, since I don't use a DAW, uh, oh, right. if so- someone sends me stems. Then I just have to kind of chop them up and try to fit them in my sampler, um, which which is just there's no, there's not a lot of room in there. It's very <laughs> understood. <laughs> so I kind of like um, I've tried a few times. Uh, I've tried with a um, uh, friend Chris Rivera from Envalid. We tried to do a remix together. Oh, nice. Um, and I I keep getting sent stuff from people and i'm like i probably am not gonna just just, nothing's gonna come out of this i'm sorry i'm Mm. not good at it (laughs) they're like well just whenever you get to it you can do it (laughs) like okay and then i like you know i try to do something with the stems and i try to like sequence in the 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 lines the synth parts that they have and um i don't know it just it just never ends up going very well (laughs) and it's something i should probably figure out how to do (laughs) <laughs> yeah. well, I uh, uh, the uh, d- disassociative prosthetic is such a, a beast of an album. I uh, would love to hear uh, what that can could accomplish in 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 remix world. But yeah, I I'm just getting back into hardware myself, and it's addictively great. But it's it's also like, all right, everybody play nice today. Like I don't want to have to. <laughs> Have to have some sort of like just just musical fist fight going on so I can make three notes happen after sure. work. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, oh yeah, and to uh, I don't know if you're this way, but like the, the 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 slow acquisition of devices is is very addictive. But uh, I will I will st- stop shortly, hopefully. Uh, uh, okay. Whatever you say. Yeah, right. Like just a little bit after school, you know. I can stop whenever I want. I can quit anytime I yeah, want. Yeah, just just a little effects pedal at a party. What? Um, <laughs> you know, everybody's got an eight-step sequencer hardware. You know, I just wanted to feel cool. Like, uh, yeah. Dude, uh, you're gonna get a Eurorack module for free, and that's gonna be over. <laughs> right, right. Is there any particular piece of gear or VST uh, either of you are? excited about right now um well (laughs) uh so uh i you kind of heard my sampler trouble okay uh, early in that uh i use an esx right now for all of my drums and samples Mm. um and it is full there's like 10 seconds of sampling time (laughs) (laughs) um and like i was looking at a lot of different samplers to try and uh Find something that had a lot of internal storage, but also had uh, the capability to kind of like um, control and mangle what was going on in a drum machine sort of way. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't find anything in my price range that I loved 
except for um, a tiny maker board called the Tsunami Wave Trigger. Okay. Uh, which is a great little board. And I found this about a year ago. And I said, hey, you know what? I'm in computer engineering school. And I want to make these, these beep boot boxes uh, <laughs> for the rest of my life. So it's probably going to be like a good resume Ooh, piece right. to just make one. Um, oh. So I'm really close to being finished, but this is my... Uh, Look at you! <laughs> this, is, this is the sampler that I've been working on for the past year. Damn! Um, That's cyberpunk as fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, you, can, uh, you load in samples through an SD card in the side here. Um, and it indexes wave samples off of that uh, up to like 4,096 samples of any length that you need. Uh -huh. um, it has eight audio outputs that are individually routable. Um, each of the banks have 16 tracks a piece. And, uh, you know, it does stuff. All right. So, so yeah, um, hopefully in the next month or two, mm -hmm. I'll finish the first firmware revision. And this will be available for sale as a DIY kit. Kick ass. Um, I've got... Walk in the walk. <laughs> this guy. This Hold guy. On. This guy, I tell you. I have, I have some of the PCBs somewhere. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, like, this is the, the, the fourth revision of the PCB for the front panel. All um, right. So check out uh, Brutalist Instruments on GitHub. And okay. the code there, and in the next coming months, the enclosure, the schematic, and the bill of materials are going to be there, too. I don't know how that site works. Is there, like, a particular <laughs> URL you want? I mean, GitHub, but, like, do you have, like, a... Yeah, go to github.com yeah. slash brutalist instruments. GitHub.com slash brutalist instruments, everybody. Uh, yeah. That is amazing. Um, yeah, if you're, uh, if you're in Minneapolis tonight... Um, I'll have it, and I'll have uh, an email list on the table that you can sign up to to get updates about it. And you can play with it. You can putz around. And make, I'll have headphones plugged in, and you can play sounds on it. And show. All right. Well, uh, Joshua Lexvold has says, uh, truth about uh, the USB remix is very different than the originals. Uh, 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 of Ampsych, John J. Verbo says, hell, making everyone else look like amateurs. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Scott of Beta, Beta Virus says both damn and dope, and David of uh, subspace uh, of the own uh, uh, of the aforementioned um, Sanctuary Festival says he does that. So I, I do. <laughs> you, John, 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 Johnny V, Yanni V is my he's my dude. He's All my right, guy. awesome. Love that guy. The uh, Ben, what are you using these days? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, I, well, I mean, I'm excited for Hell's. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That's that's pretty good. Um, uh, I uh, new new thing. Um, I I don't uh, um, uh, I haven't. Uh, oh my God, why am I like this? Um, huh. That's all uh, right. You, if you just if you want to keep everything secret in the I'm sure it, the no, sweat I'm, cave. I I do this sometimes, <laughs> where <laughs> where I just can't talk. All right. Uh, the uh, so I don't uh, I, I don't have it, but I'm interested in acquiring. Um, uh, there's a um, a company, and I can't remember what they're called at the moment. Um, but they make um uh. Control oh, yeah. control surfaces uh, for um, vintage vintage uh, gear. Okay. And um, the, the 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 there are two boxes that I'm super interested in. Um, one is for the uh, the um, couple of the old Junos, like the like the the Alpha Two. Oh, nice. Uh, and uh, um, but it gives you uh, real time uh, control of, uh, of like all the parameters, so that you don't have to like click and use the fucking dial. Ooh, yes. Do all that garbage, um, but the crazy one is uh, they have one for um, the DW8000, the Korg, Korg DW. Okay. Um, which, uh, like, in my head, it was always this gigantic, like, wall size <laughs> panel. Um, yeah. But they put it into a, in, like a rack mount um, uh, box. That uh, oh my god, I want it. <laughs> right. That's so bad. Oh man, we will. Uh... 
So if anybody here wants to take up a collection for uh, the, the Sweat Boys uh, DW control service, uh, we'll, we'll start that up. You know. I mean, you need that. I mean, I mean you should get that. It's more of a want. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Uh, we, it's the right colors. Oh, it is the right colors. <laughs> <laughs> we are out among the stars, so you can wish upon all of them for uh, these, these, wonderful, these wonderful toys. Um, it's nice in space. It's, it's pretty great. Like, I mean, it's lots a, of parking. It's a, it's a balmy, like, 43 degrees. <laughs> can, can I talk for a minute? Like, I, I, I've been hanging out with Hal, like, uh, last night after the show and, like, all morning. And, like, I'm really sad that Hal's going to leave. Aww. See you later, dude. Like, like, I'm really glad that you have shows. <laughs> I'm glad that you have shows that are successful. But, That's great. But, like... It's been nice. It's been nice hanging Aww. out. Yeah, Hunter was a very nice guy. And, awesome. And his live show fucking slams. Industrial Family. Well, I uh, I look forward to seeing one. Let me know if you're ever in um, the Boston area or space. Just you know. Oh, for sure. If you break past the the stratosphere, we'll we'll set you up with like the space promoter. Yeah. Um, awesome. The well, speaking a, a, a little bit of industrial Space family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up to Mary Catman? Uh, speaking um, of New England, um, the uh, Sweat Boys are with uh, Give Take, uh, mm -hmm. the record label, and uh, Paralyzes with uh, Glitch Mode. Big up to Tal for uh, helping me set this whole thing up. Uh, oh, um uh, uh, Death of Self just jumped in and said, uh, hell paralyzes me with his sick beats. Um, but, uh, I was wondering how, uh, you are finding the label experience, uh, each of you. <laughs> I mean, is, I don't know. Uh, it's great. Uh, Tal does some really good work. Um, and Sean Payne's a really cool guy. <laughs> Cool. Uh, it's it's cool being uh, being a part of the of the 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 glitchy hmm. the the glitchy the glitchy modes. Right. The the glorchy modes. The glorchy modes. modes. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. They're um, it's definitely more like I've uh, I've I've ran a label before and I've been a part of collectives before. Mm -hmm. And glitch mode definitely feels more like a collective than a label. Okay. Um, which is kind of nice, uh, just because, like, I don't know. I've, I've always loved working on handshakes instead of contracts and, like, not really, um, like, being too concerned about um, who's getting what amount of money. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's definitely more of, like, um, exchange of, of services and promotion and just people that are really down to help everyone out. Um, which is like it's it's very refreshing uh, in in an in just like um, in a genre that has had uh, historically a lot of music industry bullshit yes. uh, in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so yeah, I like awesome. it. Uh, yeah, and Tal is he's so he's so nice, he's so close oh. to my heart. <laughs> he's my baddie boy. Awesome man. Uh, how is, how's give take for you, sir? It's really nice. Great. Um, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, the, it's, it's run by two guys. Um, really, really nice people. Um, they're both, um, uh, they, they, they have the, 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 that combo of, uh, being bo both being very talented in, 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 in audio and, and, and visual arts. Um, but also, um, understanding that there is a business side to it cool if, if you want like i mean really if you want there to be it's right. it's, it's but um but they 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 kind of they, they embrace both uh equally which is cool um and they've been been really good about um uh just, just really supportive of like uh because when i started working with them i, I just i had i had demos mm. um of, of tracks and uh and they were like you know we'll we'll work until you're happy with them nice man which which was really cool and then um you know i was like you know i want this person to master it and uh thank thanks rob for mastering my record 
Um, and, uh, you know, I want it to look like this and I want it to there and there and they just like, yeah, great. Let's, let's do it. Um, and, um, they, uh, they, they, fortunately for me, like they'd like to send emails and do promo and, and shit like that. So no, it's, it's, it's been really cool. Um, and, uh, the, the other releases that they've done are, have been great. Awesome. Um, they uh they've, uh they've got a new one uh i think um well, it's pre pre-sale right now um local uh local cat um uh called uh tsunami um more wisconsin next... all right yeah. um, what's tsunami that's... sound like uh oh. <laughs> um i'm really bad at that all right well we'll uh, we'll leave that as a space mystery and everyone yeah. can. Uh, I realized I just forgot to say my uh, catchphrase for for Space Couch, which is "Call the ship, call the spaceships to Davenport." There, I said it before the end of the episode this time. Um, the uh, that's awesome. Uh, we, I need a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> well, welcome. I am deceased. Welcome to Space Couch. The uh, is there. Um, I have a question from Twitch I here. Just, I just the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, it's a very pertinent question from from curious responses on Twitch. Uh, have you guys ever stepped on a bug on purpose before? Hell yeah. Hell hell yeah, uh, <laughs> Mister. Here's, here's the deal. Here's the deal. All right. Uh, bugs have the right to live just like every other living creature, uh, but they do not have the right to trespass in my home. Right. You know. Um, you but you built your home on top of their home. I built. I. I mean, my house is on a on a concrete slab. Oh. You know. I mean, you like someone. Well, then you should appreciate their tenacity. <laughs> able to get I mean, uh, and I, I I rent. I didn't build it. Um, but yeah, like if someone's living above you, you don't go into their house unannounced and start eating their food. Yeah. You know? so, um, so yeah. But I am know. so tiny. <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, the sentience of bugs, but I hope that they have enough sense to uh, respect the, the my space, and I'll respect theirs. It's oh. a hell of a warning. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there, there you go. Spiders, spiders are cool, though. Spiders can hang out. Spiders, cool. <laughs> spiders get a pass, uh, as long as they're on MySpace, and that's what you said, right? But as long as they're on um, <laughs> social networking platforms from 2005, uh, everything. The Beatles on Friendster, you really got. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Tom is like a spider in disguise. He's a, he's a sentient spider. Yeah, yeah. he'll be coming like his back. Tom suit. Will fall off. And it's just like an eight-legged top. I mean, these are the mysteries of space that we get to here on um, the couch of space. Uh, we are on a, a rogue flight path out here in space, and I'm going to bring her on on home into the station in uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, is there anything you wish someone would ask you in an interview that that we could cover? today on uh, El, El Calcio Espeso? Uh, top five interests and obsessions that aren't music. Uh, so, Hal, you what first. are your top five uh, interests and obsessions? No, you first, Brian. My for top five interests and obsessions that aren't music. You Very difficult. anything yet. Um, I'm going uh, off the top of my head to say uh, comic books, coffee, uh, Otters, squids, and novelty shoes. All right. Yeah. Do you do you own a pair of Heelys by chance? Or? No, that that that's like, I it's 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 like a lifestyle. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I I have them I in the in, juice boxes. Right. <laughs> They're in my I brain, think... like on the same node that occupies like, like. Um, Rick and Morty fans, or like Eminem, where like the content might be great, but the fan base weirds me out. So I can't, I can't get into it. Fair enough. 
It is a fast life. Yeah. <laughs> Healy game. Never forget. <laughs> um, so uh, the question that was just answered in my initial question uh, to you, Ben. Uh, oh, yeah. What are your, oh, to me? Are your top or points? either. Like, top five. Top five uh, 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 Twin Peaks. Word. Yeah. Um, uh, horror, horror movies of, uh, all varieties. Word. Um, uh, uh, fuck, what do I like, Hal? We, we were talking about this last yeah, night. Yeah, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of boring. No, um, I mean, you know. Uh, gross 80s toys. Uh, yeah, Boglins are cool. Boglins, great, love it. Boglins are great. I'm a I'm a, a Boglin enthusiast. There you go. This is our this is you are making uh, the the first ever Boglin on space couch is now happening. So thank you for that. Spoglin. Spoglin. Yes. Uh, Sweat uh, goblins. I love it. <laughs> Sweat goblins. Uh, Did you got to clean your couch, dude. And, uh, oh God. I I guess. Uh, I, I guess I guess for five, uh, I, I'm gonna go anything uh, Werner Herzog related. Nice. Um, which, which, by the way, okay. Spoiler alert for the Mandalorian trailer. Uh -huh. You haven't seen it yet. Spoiler alert. Put your earmuffs on. What's What's the Mandalorian? Werner Herzog is is in the fucking Mandalorian. Is he? And in I it? can't even. Can't even. I saw oh, the trailer. And, like I heard heard the voiceover. I was like, no. Not, oh, he, nice. Wait man. a minute. And then they showed him, and, I, and there was literal poop in my pants. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Herzog movie? Um, my, my two favorites are uh, uh, Little Dieter Needs to Fly. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, the documentary that, um, that he did, that uh, uh, Rescue Dawn with uh, mm -hmm. Christian Bale, uh, that Herzog also uh, mm -hmm. did. Like it, was, it was based on... Based on this this real dude, he was a, a, a pilot got shot down um, uh, um, during during Vietnam and uh, was like taken captive and survived in this POW camp and eventually uh, survived and was and was rescued. Whatever, but like fascinating story, okay. like just compelling and perfect. Um, as far as his like uh, um, his fiction fiction ish mm -hmm. stuff goes. Um, I, I I really love um, uh, Invincible. Okay. Um, that one's really great. Uh, Tim Roth is in it. He's like this occult Nazi prick. <laughs> All right, um, I'll check it out. Like it's 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 very very good. Did he do Strozek or is that somebody else? Uh, yeah, with, Kins with Kinski. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's the one where they go to wait. There's two movies starring the same guy, Kinski, and I get the titles mixed up, but in one he's like old timey, and the other one they, they go to Wisconsin and drink. Uh, that, that one is, is, I can never say it right, Stroy, whatever you just yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, okay. Stroy, that was Stroy, the one I was thinking of, where they drink White, like point Wojcik? beer and shit. Is it Wojcik? Yes. Wojcik is the other one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll get All right. The, I'll get those uh, get, worked out. Oh, there's a little yeah, bit of feedback. I'm hearing myself talk. Uh, I don't like the sound of my own voice, um, but that's okay. Because uh, we're in space. There's no rules. Um, well, in space, there's no law. <laughs> no one can hear you sweat. The we will. <laughs> then why am I doing this? <laughs> I often ask myself the same thing, but not for space couch because Sunday is fast becoming my favorite day of the week because I get to talk to you, wonderful people. Uh, we are going to close her on out. Uh, <laughs> uh, catch Paralyzed tonight in Minneapolis. Uh, do Sweat Boys have any gigs coming up you'd like to plug? Uh, we are playing October... Uh, uh, it's either the 7th or the 10th uh, at the warehouse in La Crosse uh, with the Aesthetic Perfection Empathy Test Kick Laser Pump. Ass. All right. Check out Sweat Boys uh, with Aesthetic yeah. Perfection. And... Uh, GitHub.com slash uh, I forgot it already. Brutal, Bru brutalist instruments. Brutalist instruments. Uh, uh, look out for the um, the impending uh, disassociative prosthetic doctor 
toys along with the April O'Neil in a bubble bath uh, uh, play set. Playset. Very good, sir. 18, For men. 18 plus. <laughs> 18 plus, yes. And the yeah, colonial the... bubble bath playset for dudes. Right. So, <laughs> Sweat Boys Wait present. A minute, no. I, fucked, yeah, I fucked that up. It's all right. No, it's space. It doesn't matter. We're in international waters. Uh, <laughs> we're in the. Space... What's that? Space water. Space water. I think you just named uh, our next album. Thank you. Uh, so, oh. check out Disassociative Prosthetic and Nervous Prayers. Uh, uh, thank you to my guest today. Uh,